Hello, this is Whistling Dixie, and today um, I am going to make a little tutorial on how to make um, like uh, halters. And here's um, what you will need: you will need scissors, um, these little uh, what are they called suede strips, uh, a little uh, metal ring, some glue. Uh, and of course a schleich horse. So what you're gonna do if you can see we are going to cut this to the appropriate length. But first we have to measure it. See how it's measured there? Yeah. Oh, you can't see because my hand is in the way. Tiki. See how it's, and where my finger is? Oh, crap. That's where we're going to have to cut it, right? There, but you have to make sure it's wide enough, too, because it won't be able to come off the nose. So about right here. Okay, and then you glue it, of course. Ugh. That's too much. Ugh. And of course, you have to hold the darn glue. Make sure it fits. It does. So then you set it off to the side. Now you cut this. And um, this, if you're using the right glue, this should will still be wet but sturdy enough. So you slip it back on. I always want mine to be about right here. Almost not as high as where it's supposed to be. But you can really make it as low as you want because it will support see? Like that. So make sure that this end is like this. Like that. Okay, you got that. And now you do this. And you just want to take a small measurement there. Yeah. So that's what you really want to do. And then you have to glue it there. So you can just swing it around and then you cut it. Hold it there while you get the glue. I get the glue put on, and of course, the glue that you're using, you were using uh, has to be good enough not to dry too quickly and not too slowly. Let's see, crap. Then I got it on her, but oh well. Like that. And then just swing it around her head so it doesn't fall off. And it should dry in a few seconds. But then what you do is you have to measure it. Because if you put it too tight and it's not going to be able to come off, it's going to have to stick on here. So it's not very good. But of course it can go up and then you slip it off. So, yes. Then you can do this, and you all you have to do is make sure that it is not twisted, because then it will look really silly, and it popped off. Wait, what? 
five there. Okay, now it's sticking. Uh, but you do that. And then, again, do this over again. <laughs> and then you're going to have to see if you rise it up to the top, if you can get it off. So this is about the right length, right here. Seriously, not the best glue, but... But you know, like... There. And then you glue it like that. Yes, and that's what happened right there. Just squeeze it. And it should be pretty tight now. And then, then you cut off the extra It's stuck. Re glue that. There we go. It's okay if it is a little big. It doesn't have to be perfect, but. There, and this is basically the halter, main part. But there's one more thing you have to add, so you take it off. And see so you where you glued it, right here. You get the hook. And yes, my scissors are magnetic. And right here, you just twist it open like that. And you slip it on to the halter. And then close it. Close, stupid. And it closes, of course. So there you made a halter. And, yep, you made uh, that. And yes, it can, it, of course, it can be any color. I just use that for a really reason, but. That is now Rain's new halter. <laughs> so. I guess, yeah, that's really how you make a halter. So remember, all you do, measure at the nose, glue, measure at this, glue, make sure it can come off, uh, check, uh, glue, then take off, put little hook thing on, check in finish okay so that's really how to make a uh, like horse uh halter yeah okay bye